Hey guys, this is Cube World again, and I'm following the brown cell shade road. There's a sleeping thing right here. Ooh, is it like the beds and I can reach and help? Yes, it is. That is freaking sweet. Alright, I'll be looking for these campsites more often. Save up on health potions. Let's go. That's nice. So... I want to see where these roads will lead me. And I'm using a crossbow right now. Oh. Names are in red, so theoretically they're supposed to be pretty tough. But what if I get like a huge distance gap between me and them? Ah, just kind of using the terrain to block my shots. Oh, that works. Let's do it again. Nope, oh, I got two of them coming after me now. All right. I don't know that I like the uh, this po the power shot of this crossbow. It does like more damage, like like higher one a higher one time shot against enemies. So I guess that would be good against uh, enemies that are have like tougher defense. But uh, overall, the uh, the rapid shot of my other bow does damage to multiple enemies, like the most I've seen so far is like does damage to three enemies if they're close to each other when I'm shooting them with it. And it has a higher sort of DPS, I mean it does m more damage but in like smaller shots like you know 11 damage like in a burst of like seven or eight shots compared to like four, oh, one time 45 which I guess you know, would be a better penetrating damage with this crossbow. But I'm going to play around with this crossbow some more. Also, I'm going to, you know, grab stuff as I see them just a little bit. Especially these hearts. These heart flowers are so far, like, the most important thing to for as far as crafting materials go. Because it's Basically, you know, one of two health regen options that I know of. Is that or sleeping in beds or crafting potions out of these heart flowers. I thought I saw another one over here. Oh, there's one over there. I'm not gonna spend like freaking ever. I've got a lot already. I've got like 15. I'm a bit more curious about this road. It will just go up just a little bit if they're right there. Why don't we check the map? See where I am. Nice. Mirror of the Valley? I know I should be able to. Yeah, okay, there we go. Using the middle mouse button, I can. Yeah. So this road does go back to Segar City. There's a Nira Valley. It's in red for some reason. I think these lit up parts of the map is are the parts that I've actually been in. And these like darker ones are ones that have generated, but I haven't actually gone in them. Look at all that. It's it's practically yeah you know, this map that's generating you know not every single voxel that the game world has but it's generating a lot of voxels that's pretty cool all right which way was it going I 
That's a fighter, I think. Let's kill him. Oh, he's not too tough. Oh, he is now. Ah, crap. Nope, can't really take him. So we're just gonna go. Oh, maybe this person will help. No! It's a mean elf. I'm not gonna fight a mean elf, too. He's done following me. So it's all regen, though, so I can't start shooting him again. <clears throat> hey, here's some witches. They're friendly. I will shoot him again. Have these witches help me out. Come on, you witches. You old bag of bones. Do something to assist me. Whoa! That was freaking awesome! Those beam things they shot out? Man, I... Uh, I don't think I can... I can't use... As a, uh, ranger, I don't think I'll ever be able to use wands and stuff. Which is, I don't know. I kind of think, like, it'd be cool if you could use all of the weapons are just like there's some kind of either like skill level require higher skill level requirement to use them or something So this road goes back to uh, Segar. I'm still in the lands of Segar, interesting enough. So this should eventually, maybe it will lead to another, uh, I don't know for sure. Definitely, definitely be good to find out for sure. Because if, if these roads do go between towns, uh, you know, it'd be a really good way to find new towns is just... Uh-oh. Just, uh... Ah! Don't hit me! It'd be, you know, an, a good way to find new towns. Azron Valley. I'm in a new area now. So maybe there's a town called Azron or something. But, uh, you know... If, you, if you're just somewhere in the random wild and you just run, on, run into a road, like, oh, okay, if I follow this, it'll go to a town. I really need to get to a town. Hopefully these guys are friendly and let me pick these flowers. Nope! Holy! What? That guy was freaking intense, man. Oh my god! So is he. Where am I even at? Somewhere nearby, I guess. I don't know. Is this just the way I want to go? Hopefully I won't get murdered. Azeron Valley is red, so... Oh, yeah, there's that guy. Let's... Let's try not to fight anyone. I think because the name's in red, it means, like, it's way too dangerous for me. So, I just not get in into any fights. Should be fine. Oh god. Dwarf plus two. Yeah, none of these guys are... None of these guys are friendly. What is up with this? Oh god. Bunch of jerks. Ow. Oh god, no!
Ugh, okay, where's this map? Well, let's sort of follow this road, but like, stay away from it. There's just a ridiculous amount of like, people who are, just don't like me over there. Like, highwaymen, bandits or something. Holy! I'm supposed to avoid everyone. Hopefully I can find like a bed or something. Oh uh, yeah, he's still chasing me. Not anymore though. Oh, there's a campsite. Hopefully no one will be there. I can just sort of sleep off the, the damage. If you look at the upper right corner, uh, you can see that there's like HUM. I think that's like humidity. Then there's like temperature. And then there's... Uh, time, you know, what time of the day it is, because there is a day-night cycle. And I think it's starting to get night now, even, and uh, I've read up more about uh, the game, and uh, in the second video, or the first video, I can't remember which, I think it's the second video uh, that I made of Cube World in, the, in this series, that uh, I talked to a uh, you know, the person at the end that made like a really w loud, like, da 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 sound. Uh, that was the uh, world being, uh, the time, the world time being set back to like 7 in the morning. Uh, I'm not good with uh, military time, you know, the whole 2400 hours thing. But... So, 1700, that's like 5 o'clock, I think. I don't know. I'm in the land of Sega. Am I going backwards? Ezron Valley. Hmm. Maybe I'll be fine going back on this road. I saw something on the map that looks like a border or something. Let's find out what happens when I cross that line. Yeah, I see it right there. gonna happen. It's gonna be like a new land, lands of whatever. Lands of Varia, so maybe there's a town called Varia. Those guys friendly? They got a boomerang, so if they're no, they're not. They got a boomerang guy, so you could probably I don't know how dangerous they are. There are different uh, terrains and biomes, too. Uh, there's like hell lands where there's demons and stuff. There's like snow biomes. And there's, I don't remember off the top of my head, the other biomes. This one's just like the... I forget what the name is for it, but... Like a woodland biome or something. I have no idea how large these biomes are supposed to be, but I think they're significant. There's ocean biomes, too. I kind of want to find an ocean biome, like, in time to, like, buy a boat and stuff, and, like, just explore the sea. I think that would be really fun, too. But I think, like, these biomes and stuff are going are gonna to be, like, reasonably really, really big. Like, it would take, like, I don't know, like, an hour to get out of, just because this is, like, supposed to reflect more realistically, I think. Because Wolfram, you know, the the creator of this game. Uh oh. Wow, they're 
their names are blue, so... Let's switch back to the wood bow. Because I'm going to have a higher DPS advantage here. Let's get really far away, too. See, I did a lot more damage overall. How did how did he heal up and stuff? A lot of potions there. Ah, come on. Got them. Sell that knife. Looks like they dropped a lot of, uh, coins too. I only got like 4 XP for that though. Oh, but I picked a different bow. Got some leather gloves. Linen gloves, sorry. I'll increase my... and my crit? Increases my crits. My tempo slightly, my reg slightly. I still have no idea what that reg is. I'll have to look that up. My HP goes up, my armor goes up slightly, and my resi goes up slightly. I get a boomerang. Ooh. Damage. Slightly higher. Uh, I'm not sure how HP comes into play for the items. I think they can break. I'm not sure. Temporal. The crit is not as near as good, but we're going to trap the boomerang. Okay. Doesn't have as good range as the bow. All right, getting close to a night cycle here. There's a raccoon. I wonder if I could take that raccoon. Are raccoons still, like, dangerous to me? Oh, check that out. That's actually kind of sweet. Oh, uh, no. I can't really take that raccoon. Oh, I just realized when I put on that cloth linen shirt thing that changed my appearance. I don't know why that surprises me. But it's pretty cool. As soon as I get rid of this raccoon though, I'm going to end the video here. The day is getting old and the sun is setting. Those guys don't look friendly over there. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you later.